hi everyone welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video my name is susan in today's tutorial i'll be creating this uh, cow jacket and it is also reversible please follow along as we create this together to start i have my basic bodies here which i've already extended the length to the desired length of the jacket i want if you don't know how to draft the basic bodies i'll leave the link down in the description box below you can as well use the bodies without that if you don't know how to eliminate that from your bodies, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. The middle that this one will serve as an ease for the jacket, then the top one, that's the shoulder one, will be transferred to the sides. I also extended the back bodies to the length of the jacket. The first thing I'm going to do to this front is to close the dart, the shoulder dart. So I'm going to slash this line here at the side. I'm going to slash it till I get to the boss point here. Then I will just overlap the legs like so, then mask it down. I'm going to take a fresh pattern paper now, place it underneath the opening, then mask it down. To close the dart leg, what I'm going to do is to fold it downward like so, then use my tracing wheel to trace it. Alright, so the tracing wheel is going to leave some markings, which I'm going to use my marker to trace out before cutting. I'm also going to transfer this uh, back shoulder dart to the armhole. So what I will do is to connect a line from the dart to the armhole like so. Then I'm going to slash the line open. I'm going to close the dart using my masking tape. Place a small pattern paper under the new opening then mask it down. I'm done masking it down, so the next thing is to cut it out. For this next step, I'm going to use this half scale to illustrate because my table is not wide enough for my main pattern. So I have my half scale here, then I have another paper underneath. The front, I'm going to align it with this edge, like so. And the back, I'm going to align it with this other edge. The patterns can touch at the hem or you leave a gap about one inch space so that you're able to cover very well. After setting it very well, I'm going to use my masking tape to tape the two patterns down. After taping it down, the next thing is to connect the shoulders. From this shoulder point and this shoulder point, I'm going to connect them together. The next thing is to get the midpoint of this uh, new diagonal line. After getting the midpoint, I'm going to connect the midpoint to the midpoint of where the, uh, the two patterns are meeting at the hem. Then from this uh, point now, I'm going to extend the, the sleeve I want. I want to add the sleeve I want. For example, maybe I want 10 inches sleeve, I'll add it. But because it's half scale, let's use 5. So here's a dot for 5 and I'll connect it like so. Right then, on each side of this line now, I'm going to take half measurement of my wrist circumference. Wrist circumference, let's assume the wrist is uh, 5 inches. So I'm going to take 2.5 on each side. I hope you understand. Then I'm going to square a line connecting the dots together like so. Then from here now I'm going to connect back to the shoulder. I'll do the same to the other side. And we are done. I'm going to add seam allowances. I have a cream pattern so I can see very well. Then I went ahead and added the seam allowance from the shoulder point of the front to the center front of the back. I added half an inch. 
okay so what i want to do now is to shape this center front i don't want to shape it on this pattern so i can reuse it so what i'll just do is just to trace the pattern out then before i forget the sleeve also i increase it to nine inches instead of the five okay so now i'm going to trace this pattern this front pattern just trace the hem like this okay then i also trace the neck after tracing the neck i'm going to remove the for the front pattern to shape the front i'm going to connect the neck area here down to the hemline but i'm going to rule a line as a guide first you can actually eyeball it but i want to rule a line just rule a straight line like so then from the hem i'm going to draw a curve connecting to any point of the guideline the next thing now is to add my seam allowance from this neck area down to the hem of the front and the hem of the back half an inch because this is an half scale i'm going to turn my table to the cm size so i'll use one cm but can use half an inch Before I cut out, I'm going to label so as not to mismatch it when I place it on my fabric. The center back is going to be placed on fold, so I need to put the symbol. Alright, so we are done. So the next thing is to place it on a folded fabric on both the main fabric and the lining. I'm going to do that on my main pattern. And here it is. Okay, the difference is that I added the same allowances on the fabric instead of on the pattern. And here I space it by one inch. Then I have my half an inch all around. Then I also cut another material, a plain material. You can use any the design that you want like to be reversible. I'm going to start the stitching from the main fabric. So this is the neck area of the back. That's the center back. And this is the sleeve and this is the front area so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to match the shoulder of the front area with the shoulders of the back on the right side i'm going to place the shoulder of the front to the shoulder of the back like so matching it at the neck area here okay then i'm going to stitch on half an inch straight down then do the same to the other side also I want to use this half scale to explain well this is the center back and we cut on fold and here is the front so we're going to match this neck area of the front you match it with the neck area of the back like so okay then you start the stitch from the neck area down to the sleeve like so all right then you do the same to the other side also okay so i'm done stitching the shoulders okay all right so and i did the same on the plain fabric also so what i'm going to do now is i want to stitch the sleeve so i'm going to open the sleeve like so on both the plain and the main fabric then i'll match it up right side to right side so the wrong side will be facing outside like this then i'll open the stitch that same then i'll stitch on half an inch round then do the same to the other side i'm done stitching the sleeve so what i want to do now is just to pull the plain fabric inside from the sleeve opening like so i'll just push it inward all right then i'll do the same to the other side also the next thing is to turn it all around that is from the neck area i need to turn it so what i'm going to do is to take the plain fabric now i'm going to turn it right side facing right side of the main fabric then i'll match the neck area i'll make sure the seam at the shoulder is open right just match it up then i'm going to stitch on half an inch round i'll make sure i leave small opening for turning i'm done stitching this is a small opening i left so i'm going to pull everything out from this opening i'm done turning the next thing is to give it a good press don't forget it is reversible that means you can wear the plane outside also all right so and also don't forget to sew the bottom just push 
the seam allowance inward and use matching thread to just stitch it down and here it is the first video is wearing the pattern outside then the second one is wearing the plane turning it inside out okay and they both look nice though i think it's a bit big for me but i still love it anyway thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share and please don't forget to hit the notification bell so as to get notified when i upload new videos till i come your way again bye for now bye